guys, um, as promised, I'm back with my first process video in a while. Um, you'll have to forgive me if I ramble a, a little. Um, it's been a while since I've done a voiceover, so I'm uh, a little nervous, I have to admit. Um, today I'm starting off with a little sketch that I, I drew in the notepad I keep um, for sketching. And I've decided to do a four-piece grid design. Um, so I'm just starting off with this photo of my young son um, and chopping this photo down to approximately 4x4. Four four. Um, it's printed with my selfie so it's not quite 4x4, um, four four. it doesn't print a true 6x4 size, so um, it's more or less. But the way the grid design is going to work on this one, I'm not too concerned about it being entirely 4x4. Four four. Um, for this layout, I'm predominantly using the Maggie Holmes Crepe Paper Gather Collection. Um, but I am down to just scraps of this collection, pretty much. Um, and I didn't have quite enough of the paper left. So I've gone through my stash and found some pieces that I think will fit with the scraps of the, the um, Gather Paper that I have. So I'm using, I think the pink sort of wood grain is from the Crepe Paper Confetti line. Um, and I have some pieces from the Dear Lizzie Saturday collection, I think. Um, a, the big ombre piece there is from Jen Hadfield DIY Home. Um, and they all work really well together, so those are the pieces I've gone for and I'm just showing you here that I have chopped and um, I've fussy cut some leaves from those papers um, to match the leaves that were in the ephemera pack that came with the gather collection because I'd already used the leaves on another project but I really really wanted leaves for this <coughs> specific piece because my son's holding um, a leaf in this picture so I'm just fussy cutting my <laughs> terrible sketch of a leaf there. Oh, and you will have to apologise if I sound like I'm swimming underwater. My darling husband has infected me with man flu. And it's a doozy. Um, yeah, I'm feeling quite lousy today. But nonetheless, I'm... Um, so I'm just showing you here how I fussy cut one leaf, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to speed it up in a second um, because I'm not sure why I haven't sped it up here actually, but you know, it all comes out in the edit. Um, so I'm just fussy cutting this one leaf um, and as you can see I already made some prior to filming this and I did a couple from Vellum. Um, a couple from a tear, black and white text. You can see I used the centre of that um, Dear Lizzie Saturday sort of um, mint green watercolour piece. And I've cut quite a few. Um, but I don't use them all. I'm not entirely sure why I cut so many. I think when I was planning this out I wasn't sure how many I was going to use and how many I would need for the whole design um, but as it turns out I only use a couple and I do have some left over so once I've finished cutting them I'm just going to cut them um, use an eraser to rub out my pencil marks and they'll be all ready to go <coughs> so as you can see I'm just um, laying out my design giving myself an, a rough approximation as to where I want everything to go, trying to decide which leaves I want to use. And whilst I'm fiddling with this, I would like to say a huge, huge thank you to everybody who reached out and left me really lovely messages and emails and um, messages on Facebook, um, having sorts um, watched my um, last video. Um, I really, really appreciate all the the love and support that you you've all given. It's it's yeah, it's been really, really wonderful, um, and I'm very grateful. So thank you very much. 
Um, as you can see here, I'm going to do a little of my fringing because if you, if you follow me over on Instagram, you'll know that I am fringing obsessed at the moment. Absolutely obsessed. And I wanted a fringed tag to go in the upper left quadrant of this piece. So I've just taken some scraps that match the rest of the design, the rest of the papers, and snipped them with my um, Fiskars detail scissors, and I'm just taping them down to um, a blank tag so that I can have a little fringe tag. And I've cut the tag to approximately 4x4 four four as well. Well, not 4x4, four four, it's 4 inches high, sorry. Um, so that, again, it matches the approximate the approximate height of the rest of the quadrants. Um, I'm just using my um, uh, tape runner here just to add the fringed pieces to the tag. Um, and you can see I actually made a little mistake here because I'm using such a small scrap of the ombre green watercolour-y paper that I haven't left myself enough space. So I'm just going to take another piece of the um, lovely um, confetti wood grain piece. I really love that paper actually. Um, and fringe that really quickly and just add that to the top of the, um, the tag. Um, I will say when you um, making a tag like this and you're adding fringe into the top, you need to add the tape to the tag itself or the top of whatever you're sticking the fringed piece to because when you trim it to size, you're going to lose some of the fringing, um, which I actually do. Um, and I just use a little bit of glue just to, to um, stick it back together. It's a little fussy and a little a little bit of faffing around, but I, I really love it. I'm so enjoying fringing things at the moment, and I've got no idea why I love it as much as I do. But like I said, if you follow me over on Instagram, you'll see that I've been utterly obsessed with fringing just of late, and I've done so many fringe layouts, um, and I'm really, really, really enjoying it. Um, and you can see I'm just um, adding some extra bits with glue there just to, to um, fix the bits that fell off when I trimmed the corners off there. It just takes a, an extra minute or so. I'm going to grab my um, hole punch just to punch the hole back through the tag and add a lovely striped um, hole protector, hole reinforcer um, that I have in my stash and um, that makes my tag pretty complete and I think it looks ever so cute but then of course I would say that it being my layout and all. Um, I should definitely apologise for the length of this video though. Um, I am definitely out of practice. I think this whole layout took me maybe maybe an hour, an hour and a half maybe, so I've edited it down as much as I can, but it's still quite long, so I apologise and I will try to um, speed myself up a little. Um, my journaling here, I have used my um, computer to print it out onto um, vellum, printer say vellum, um, and I just used a typewriter font, um, I think I downloaded it from the font and I think it's called Mom's Typewriter um, and it's a really really lovely typewriter font and it's one of my favourites um, so I tend to use that. I did have a typewriter but um, it was cumbersome and Rafferty broke it um, hitting it repeatedly <laughs> trying to type one day um, so, as you can see, I'm just going through my um, gather ephemera, the bits that I have left, and um, trying to decide what I want to use to create the layers behind these four quadrants, or the four main components of these quadrants. And I'm trying to bring the pink and the green from the fringed tag, I'm trying to bring that into the layers behind the pieces, 
as you can see I find it in the um, alphabet table there it has the green which isn't quite the same color but it's close enough so that my eye quite liked that and I actually love the look of this yellow and even though I didn't have yellow in previously I'm okay with bringing that in um, and again the peach of the um, ticket isn't a colour that's already on the layout but it works really really well um, and I bring the that oh best day I think um, that piece but I bring it in and layer it behind because the yellow matches the yellow that I've put in the bottom quadrant so it brings the yellow up to the top there and I'm just you know, faffing, faffing, trying to decide what I want to use. Um, these tiny bits of ephemera have come from the 6x6 pads. Um, I cut them apart from there. I tend to use those in my um, project life. But I'm just faffing around with them, trying to decide, trying to bring the green from the tag down into that lower quadrant. Again, <clears throat> I don't think I end up using that actually. Um, but for now I just lay it there. And I really, really want to use this camera piece, but I can't figure out where to put it, and I put it back, and I, it does make it on the layout in the end, but, um, yeah, it's a very, um, it's a very faffy kind of layout. I think I'm definitely out of practice with filming, so hopefully I'll, uh, hit my groove again soon. <laughs> um, I hope you'll all put up with me whilst I'm uh, finding my groove with that. So I'm just um, backing that picture onto um, it's just some white cardstock and I'm going to add a layer of the wood grain paper again just to bring the wood grain from the, um, the tag again into another part of the layout. Um, I like to do that, I like to have repeating um, layers or repeating colours or repeating uh, patterns um, if I can and when you're layering it's so easy to have those repeating elements um, without too much effort so I'm just sticking these layers down and trying to work on a quadrant at a time to get the majority of the pieces <clears throat> as close to completion as I can before I move on to the next one and as you can see, I just use a tape in the centre of these layers, um, just in case I want to add um, any more pieces within, or if I want to put another layer in, and you know, slot anything else in there, it's harder to do if you've already um, taped right to the edges, so I prefer not to do that. I'm just making sure that I'm happy with my pieces and where they're lying, and I think my photo I feel like it's not um, catching the eye as much as I would hope so I'm going to add some more pieces to this I'm just going through my labels and uh, tags um, box there just to find some pieces that I think I can layer in within um, the pieces just trying to find some bits that I think would work I pull a few things out but I don't think I actually use them all I push probably sort these a little bit more thoroughly I think by colour might actually help me in this case I'm um, just checking to see if there's anything else I can use in there I find a little uh, acrylic piece, but I don't use that. Not acrylic. Um, uh, a plastic piece, anyway. I'm just going through my tags, and when I use tags, generally I will actually use them um, cut in half. So I tend to have lots of little half bits of tags and quarter bits of tags because um, I pop them all back into the box if I don't use them because I find them very very helpful for creating elements of layers and things so even the smallest bit of tag is actually helpful um, and I'm debating the Polaroid um, 
tag there, but I don't use it because the pink is too bold against the rest of the piece. I found a lovely minty green piece there, which I bring in. And again, I, I don't think I use that there in the end. But it's just going through and finding the pieces that I think might work. And I'm thinking, should I put a doily behind? And I don't, because I find it adds too much um, fussiness to the eye. It's a very clean piece. Um, so in the end, I grab a, a glassine bag. Um, which is some, I think something was packaged in it. Um, and I end up using that behind my photo. Um, and when I'm sticking it down, I actually fold the bag um, twice, I think, because it adds another another texture for the eye um, when you're looking at the finished piece. I'm struggling with my type. <laughs> Oh, I, I always struggle to get the backing off um, double-sided tape. I really do. But I got it so cheap in Hobbycraft that I use it anyway. And you can see I'm just folding my bag here. And I tend to keep my folds to one-third of the um, overall piece. Or as close to as I can. Um, that's more like half of the piece, that isn't it? That's a, that's a big Y from <laughs> my part there. I think because it's a 4x4, four four, usually if it was a 6x6, six six, it would be one third. That's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> um, and you can see I'm just gluing in uh, these bits of ticket here, um, just to add another visual um, texture and layer. Um, to the photo and the um, the piece, I, I work more on the the quadrant with the, the photo in it um, because that's where I want the eye to be drawn. So that's the most um, visually textured um, portion of the the whole layout. Um, even though the other quadrants do have um, quite a lot of texture. Um, that is the one that your eye tends to be drawn to. Um, well, at least I hope so. That was that was the goal, anyway. Um, so I'm <laughs> hoping that comes across. <laughs> and I'm just going to work on the journaling quadrant now, um, using my tiny attacher to add the vellum to the yellow piece. I really love um, that I decided to add the yellow in even though it wasn't a colour I'd originally picked to use. Um, so I think it adds a lovely um, freshness to the layout, which although is um, autumn or fall themed, it has a much lighter um, tone to it that, that, could, that will work year round once it's in my album. <clears throat> even though he's holding a leaf and it's quite clearly <laughs> autumn. Um, I don't know, I make sense to myself and it's hard to <laughs> explain. Um, yeah, you can see I'm, I'm struggling just a little with the ephemera on this one. Um, trying to get it to layer the way I want it to. And I end up going and grabbing a scrap of the um, the text I'd used for the leaf up in the top. I think that's from the Bloom collection. And I just pop that behind. And it adds just the right amount for me. Um, and I pop the lovely green piece I'd found to add the green from the tag. Um, down to the bottom as well and I do end up using that lovely camera piece um, I think it works quite well and just stamp <coughs> moving on to the tag piece um, and again I just I have a little bit of a faff around with this one as well um, I find, oh, visually I find the cleaner layout so appealing to me when I go through my albums. 
but I do find them just that little bit harder than when I'm, you know, throwing everything at a layout. I find it matters more where each each piece lies and the you know the distance between each corner and things matters to me more and I, I find myself messing with them a lot more than I do when I'm making a busier layout. So it ends up even though you're doing less on a layout, for me it <laughs> ends up taking more time than when I've done a lot more on a layout. But I do love them when I go through my album, so it's always worth it. You can see I'm just I'm really being quite faffy with this. I'm not sure what I'm doing, and then I forget that I was going to put a rose there, so I was faffy with some of the layers, and then as soon as I put the rose there, it adds that um, darker tone from the photo up to the top. And the same with the camera. It brings it across in a diagonal with that darker tone. Um, so I'm just checking that I don't want to use the um, green coloured leaf and I don't. It adds too much fussiness to me. So I decide I'm going to put some stitching across the um, pink leaf, uh, just straight down the centre. I don't bother to sew the um, two that I'm keeping in the background just, just because they are in the background. Um, and they're not going to be as, as visual as the pink leaf in front. Um, and you can see I do leave the cotton as it is, um, just to, again, <laughs> add more texture. Um, I really like um, adding texture into my um, my layouts at the moment, which is really funny because uh, if you saw my last video, my um, scrap room video, I showed you that I was taking Mercy Tiara's um, class, which I haven't actually taken yet, <laughs> but I'm still, um, even just the idea of adding texture, I'm clearly going with that, even though I haven't watched any of them yet. But I'm sure it's going to be fabulous when I finally get time to sit and watch them. I do, um, I do love her work very, very much. Um, I'm finding myself in a real love affair with a great many scrappers at the moment. Um, yeah, I just oh, I love so many. There's so many talented scrappers around at the moment, isn't there? Um, always somebody to to learn from, and yeah, I'm really enjoying that. Um, I digress as usual. Um, I've just drawn around the outside of my. 12 by 12 cardstock there with uh, my black pen again just to draw the eye into the four quadrants I did debate um, sewing the grid in um, just with white stitching but I, I decided against that because I didn't want it to be too um, definitive and sewing it would have made it a lot more definitive because I do actually offset things just slightly um, when I place them down. Again, I apologise for the glare on the picture there. Um, my lights are, uh, are hitting off the shine of the photograph. Um, so you saw with the photo there, I just taped that straight down because of the glassine bag. It didn't need any propping up with foam. Um, but the journaling piece I'm going to put down with foam tape, which is, it raises it to just slightly under where the photo lies. Um, and then the tag I'm going to prop up using um, foam, um, foam foam, uh, which takes it to approximately the same height as the tape but it gives it a more solid um, grounding. I'm just ruffling up my um, fringing there just to make it more obvious and uh, again, texture. So word of the day today is texture. Um, I'm just making sure I like everything before I grab the foam and take the foam down. I think actually the foam's just slightly thinner than the foam tape. So again it gives it a different dimension to the rest of the pieces that are on the um the cardstock. 
which gives it a really lovely um, dimension when you look at the whole piece, or at least it does to me. <coughs> I'm struggling with my tape as usual. Um, when I was um, doing my scrap tour, I, I totally forgot to mention a few things which I really should have done. Um, the scrapbook kit review thing, um, I still haven't decided how to reapproach that um, purely because so much has changed um, since I started. Um, predominantly the shipping over here to the UK is ridiculous. It is ridiculous. And obviously the pound is um, ever so poor at the moment, so I haven't decided um, how I'm going to approach that and how I'm going to um, carry on with that and revisit it. Um, but I will come to a decision about that and I will let you know very, very soon. Um, and the other one was I showed um, all my albums um, and then I flicked through a couple of the albums that were on the shelf and not the others. So let me know down below if you'd like to look through the rest of them. Um, I'm quite happy to do a little flick through for you and uh, if that's something you'd like to see. Um, so I stuck my leaves down just with tape and then the pink leaf I t stuck down with um, just some glossy accents right down the stitch line so that I could bring the leaves in to curl again to add more texture um, and I'm just faffing around with the um, little bits of tickets and, uh, and things just to add um, more visual layers behind things here behind the rows and I'm bringing in what I have left of the chipboard. I'm trying to decide if I want to use any chipboard. I, I love these little gold triangles, so I pop them down there, but they don't end up staying down there. Um, I'm looking through the sticker sheet. Don't end up using anything from the sticker sheet. Um, I wish to use that unicorn at some point on something though. It's so cute. And I'm, <laughs> I have oh, a devil of a time with these words. I love um, the phrasing on some of these. And you can see I picked this one up, but it's too long. Um, I love the phrase, but it's too long, and it throws out the line of the quadrants. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but it, it really does throw them out, so I can't use that one. So I decided to use shorter ones, um, where the phrasing um, was a bit more difficult to come together for me. Um, and I, I, yeah, I placed them across the leaves, and then I tried to place them near the rows, and they weren't working for me, and they were throwing the lines out entirely. You can see visually that's quite jarring um, when they're on the, across the leaf there. So I bring them over to the rows, and again, it's too busy on that half of the layout then. I definitely need something across the leaves to make that work. So I try having a piece across the leaf and then a piece across the rows. And that works much better, but it needs to be in threes. So I, um, I pick another phrase as well and pop it down onto the journaling um, side of the quadrants um, because it gives that lovely triangular visual which again draws the eye down to the photo again um, so that works much better for me I'm just finding my um, <clears throat> little glitter hearts there which I'm going to use um, just around the photo and the um, generally, and I pick out three, three, because that's all I wanted to use. But as you'll see very soon, I bring out the ink splatters, and it goes wrong. Oh my goodness, does it ever go wrong? It it soaked into the yellow, and started to 
give this huge black splodge that just looked awful. So I actually end up bringing out more hearts to cover up the, bit of the, the splodge. And I do like how it ends up. Um, but yeah, I didn't actually intend to use that many. I'm just drawing a really, really scritchy and square, sort of a square, around the leaves there, which looks a little bit off right now. But once I put my title in, it draws the eye back in again. Um, and I think I'm going to use the cute title, but I actually don't. Um, I think it looks alright, it looks good, and then I stick it down and I think, no. No, 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 that does not look good and I do not want to use that at all. It just doesn't work in the space that I have, so I swap out. Um, for the XOXO title, which works really, really well in the space I've got for it. And I just stick them straight onto the layout, but I do, um, I actually do glue them down before I, that goes into my album. Because uh, chipboard pieces and the adhesive on the back of them is rubbish, in my opinion. And they always fall off, so... I bring out my Heidi Shine. As Adele has christened it, and it shall now ever more be known. I'm pretty sure Heidi Swap is going to have to just rechristen it Heidi Shine now. It's, it's done. <laughs> There's nothing else it can possibly be. I'm just popping some splatters around. And this is all going very well so far, until I break out my calligraphy ink, which I keep in a, in a spare spray bottle. And it's going fine. I'm just putting some nice splatters. And any second now you're gonna see it go wrong, 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 wrong. Look at it, it's spreading. It's getting bigger and bigger and it's growing. <laughs> and it's growing and it just looks awful. Awful. Uh, yep, yeah, I've noticed how big it's gotten now. <laughs> so I'll just break out my glitter hearts again and uh, yeah just pop another heart over the, uh, the dot see if you make a mistake there's always a way to fix it um, usually a word sticker or some sort of heart in my opinion mm -hmm. and I just bring a second heart across to the photo as well so that it's not just one piece that's so got two mm -hmm. I don't think I put any more hearts on I think I think, that's, I think that's all I do. I think I'm done. Oh, I think so. Well, thank you um, ever so much for watching. Um, oh, no, I do. I put the little uh, triangles up at the top there to bring the gold up into another place. But thank you for watching. Thank you for putting up with my extra long video and my um, cold riddled waffling. Um, I will try and bring my time down over the next um, few videos and get back to my uh, shorter um, process videos if I can. Um, leave me a comment down below if um, you've got any questions and I'll see you next time. Bye!